It's now my great pleasure to introduce to you two gentlemen who are going to speak on behalf of our imperial sponsor at this Congress, CGMA. For those who don't yet know what CGMA means, I'm sure they're going to clear it up in just a moment or two. I'm going to introduce them now and then show a video, and while the video is showing for you, they will come up onto the stage. Charles Tilly is the chief executive of SEMA, the world's leading and largest professional body of management accountants, and he's chairman of IFAC's Public Accountants and Business Committee and a member of the International Integrated Reporting Council. Barry Melanson is president and chief executive officer of the American Institute of CPAs, and a uh, well-known, both of these gentlemen, of course, are well-known to many of you, and you've seen them at these conferences in the past. So I'm going to ask them to come on stage, and I'm going to ask you to key and roll the video. Thank you. CGMAs around the world are helping businesses to be ready for what's next. Charlotte, KL are about to come online. Okay. Wow, George, this project's developing pretty quickly. We've worked closely with a couple of areas across the business and gained ourselves a week. There was a problem with one of the contractors, so we linked up with SEGMAs and greatly reduced the risk to the client. That's terrific, George. Hi, Ella. What's our market share in Africa now? Moving stock early has certainly made a significant impact. We're up five points. And what about the pharmaceutical stock in Pretoria? With careful analysis of that market, we've managed to gain a really good share. Great. Is it coming in on budget? We're certainly on budget now. Hi, Lucas. I haven't seen you for a while. How's Bartosz and his bikes? It's all looking good, Charlotte. The bank were really supportive of our business plan, which allowed us to unlock the finance. With a new production line and lower overheads, his bikes will be more competitively priced, which is brilliant for the local market. He's done well. I love these success stories. Good afternoon. Charles and I will speak to you today about the future. We all want to be ready for what's next. The next decision, the next opportunity, the next challenge. We know they're on the horizon. The key is to position ourselves for the change. Imagine a world where technology has automated much of today's work empowering accountants to focus more on higher value services. Envision a world where disruptive forces combine to create hyper-complexity, driving accountants to lead and shaping real-time strategic decisions. Picture a world where our best and brightest workers never set foot in the office, fostering a truly global workforce. This new world is coming to life today. Accountancy helps drive business success in this exciting new world. We all know we're in a dynamic but challenging times. So it's critical that organizations can adapt. You saw our video. And I'm sure all of you sitting here can help organizations by using the right information at the right time to make the right decisions. We know this because our organizations have been following these trends, trends like digitization, automation, and globalization to help prepare members for this challenging landscape. And when it comes to reading and acting upon the external trends, I personally think organizations can fall into two traps. They either ignore them and focus internally, 
or overcompensate by trying to keep on top of absolutely everything. Recently, the former CEO of Diageo, Paul Walsh, told us he focuses on just four key trends. So have you thought about what your four trends should be? We're constantly talking with business leaders about how they navigate the external environment and the skills they need to drive their organizations forward. Global CFOs such as Simon Henry from Shell and BT's Tony Shamugam, who, as CGMAs, will be speaking on the plenary session tomorrow morning. And I certainly hope that all of you will be there tomorrow. In a recent CGMA survey, nine out of 10, so the vast majority of business leaders said a stronger partnership with their finance teams will help them better manage their companies in the years ahead. Now, I think that's really powerful feedback and shows why in every corner of the world we see successful organizations like Tata in India, Hire in China, placing management accounting at the center of everything that they do. But let's remember the most important asset any company has, its people. The talent of your workforce can make or break your organization. People will always remain at the heart of our profession. But we need to understand that our workforce is changing. This year's conference is all about the shifting dynamics of the talent pool and the work environment. IFAC's theme for this meeting is 2020 vision, learning from the past, building the future. That theme is referring to our people and the changes that need to be made to secure the profession's bright future. More and more organizations are managing open workforces with a complex mix of in-house teams, freelancers, contractors, and external business partners. A new report we're issuing this week will explore this concept in detail. The report is called New Ways of Working, Managing the Open Workforce. It highlights the absolute necessity of creating a plan to develop and retain top talent. Employees are spending less time with specific employers. They're more willing to move to new locations, entirely new careers. Each business will need to determine a unique approach to keep its high performers. The global profession must begin its evolution today if we hope to respond to tomorrow's challenges and remain relevant and vibrant. And it's up to us, all of us, to ensure the relevance of the profession. So let me tell you how we are doing this. Well, CGMA is the world's largest global management accounting designation. In fact, 140,000 accountants have it. And CGMAs are in demand. 100% of the FTSE 100 and 99% of the world's top 100 brands choose CGMA designation holders. They're in demand because CGMA is backed by extensive research on what global businesses actually need. They've told us they want people who can apply accounting and finance skills right across the business and who can lead at all levels. They've told us they want best practice management accounting functions. So we've developed a competency framework to make sure CGMAs can add value across the entire business and go far beyond a purely financial focus. And after speaking to more than 3,000 organizations around the world, we've also developed the global management accounting principles to show just how best, just show how CGMAs can drive best practice 
management accounting functions. Ultimately, we have to make sure we're ready for the next global business challenges and, of course, opportunities. To embrace what's next, we need a larger toolbox of new skills. Two technological forces are coming together that will transform how we operate. The first is connectivity. Information technology, communications, and computing today are fully integrated, delivering real-time connectivity that's always available. The second force, which is related, is called the Internet of Things. It will go far beyond the Internet and wireless co to connect products, places, and even the natural world. It is happening at lightning speed. More than 20 billion devices will be connected within a year. Then more than twice that by the decade's end, generating some $14 trillion of economic activity. Imagine, instead of using your personal technology device for scheduling deliveries, that instead you're using an app to schedule a delivery to be arranged or delivered by a driverless car manufactured with non-destructible material created from a 3D printer. The Internet of Things is perhaps the biggest engineering pro project in the history of the world with enormous challenges and exciting prospects. For accountants, technological developments mean we will need to help businesses and clients manage connectivity. We will become real-time, trusted advisors on strategy and opportunities. Specifically, our job is to find ways to integrate technologies affecting business information supply chain. For example, continuous assurance and control monitoring should become standard procedure. CPAs and CGMAs together are essential to the reliability and health of our financial systems, both internally and externally. I just described a lot of changes. And accountants can harness them to help propel business forward. For this reason, I am excited that, as part of this World Congress, Olivia Kirtley, a CPA, CGMA, whose career is rooted in business and industry, will become and has become the next president of IFAC for a two-year period. Charles, you will also, as chair of the Professional Accountants and Business and Industry Committee of IFAC, also influence how accountants drive sustainable success. Here's what I know. Each of us must be more nimble than ever before. If you want to survive, you can't stay still. We have to leverage the measurable success of the accounting profession in the past to drive us to even greater success in the future. That's what Ready for the Next is all about. And what we must all be ready for the next. And that's why we launched the CGMA designation to meet global demand. In fact, over 80% of CEOs said a candidate with CGMA would appeal to them. And 75% they'd want their existing finance employees to obtain it. Now, over the next few days, we've got an impressive array of speakers and a host of cutting-edge research, which we really do want to share with all of you. So please do come and uh, visit us at the CGMA stand to find out more and start thinking about what comes next. We really are proud to be Imperial Sponsor for the 2014 World Congress of Accountants. So congratulations to IFAC and of course to CNDCEC for putting together what I'm sure will be a, a fabulous conference. And we look forward to participating in this global forum with all of you and together getting ready for the next. So on behalf of Barry and me, thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much, Russ.